Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. I want to thank you for being here today on the Valder Beebe Show. We've had a fantastic day, and I'm not going to let the great guest stop. I've got Jamie Sire. She's a former ESPN sportscaster. She's a Food Network host. And she's here to talk about that March Madness. Jamie, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Yeah, Valder, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, tell me about, first of all, what March Madness is for us non-basketball fans, and that includes me. <laughs> it is the most exciting time of the year in college basketball. You know, you have the 64-team bracket. Actually, it's a little bit more than that with the play-in games. And all these teams vying for a national championship. And more than that, you know, it's so exciting because, you know, it's, it's win and you keep playing, lose and you're out. So it's one and done. Um, everything's on the line every single game. So it's very fun. It's very exciting. You always have some upset picks, some Cinderella stories. It's just super fun. Even if you're not a big sports fan, I think it's uh, one of the best times of the year. Okay, I want to ask you who has the best chance to be a big winner in March Madness, but I also want to ask you, did uh, the COVID change change this game playing at all? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think, um, I think both of those questions kind of go hand in hand because I think the big winners are really the fans and the players because you think back to this time last year, we were all gearing up for this tournament and it kind of got ripped away from us at the last minute. So now we haven't had this tournament in two years. I think everybody's extra excited so definitely COVID played a role last year, and it is playing a role this year as well. Um, the tournament is all in one place. Usually it's spread out across the country, but now it's all in Indianapolis. Um, so I think that that's a little bit different. The women's tournament is in San Antonio. Um, they all have to have COVID tests. The, the teams are all on one floor. They all have separate rooms for each player. So there's a lot of things in place um, to, to protect everybody. Um, during this time, but more importantly, we're back playing basketball and we get to watch it. Okay, so let's move on to food. Yes. For us non-game people, I always do the food. Yes. One year, one year I cook salad. Somebody fix salad. Somebody should have told me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm always trying to be on point. What what kind of food experiences? does game watchers want to have and I want to be a winner too okay well I, I'm gonna give you the winning pick don't make salad that is number <laughs> one um, but no I think um, for me I just like to have like a lot of um, you know just delicious foods that people like can easily grab I think this year KFC I'm just gonna kind of let them do the work I think that maybe that's a good tip for you as well um, because they have a perfect menu for game day and they just released this brand new chicken sandwich it's their best sandwich ever perfect timing um, for the tournament it is now available nationwide you can order it on the new uh, kfc mobile app so you've got the chicken sandwich uh, we have to talk about some fries as well because that is another key component you want to have some sides and something that everybody enjoys i think everybody likes french fries so they are the secret recipe fries. They're very delicious. And I recommend actually setting up a French fry bar, I think is super fun. And then ordering all the dipping sauces from KFC because they have so many. And then everybody can kind of mix and match what they like the best. So I would say those two things for sure. Wings are another game day staple. And KFC also has a nice variety of wings as well. All right. You got me pumped. Okay, <laughs> I can do this. I'm you can ready. do it. I, I have faith. Okay. So, okay. Can you share some of your picks with us, the Cinderella team, so I can sit there and act like I know who Yeah, is. absolutely. Okay, so <laughs> I, as for Cinderella teams, I have Winthrop. It's a, they're a 12 seed, so I have them upsetting a 5 seed. So you always have to have one of those in your bracket. Um, but don't have them going too far, because if they don't win, then your bracket is busted. I have Gonzaga going all the way. I have them being undefeated, and uh, it's not an original pick. I'll just warn you, they are the number one overall seed, but I've watched them over the last 20 years really develop this program. So I think this year is their year. They've never won a national championship. I think they're going to do it this year. All right, then. So should I be watching now for bracket busters? Yeah, I think um, the number one thing to think about when you're filling out your, your bracket is try not to go for those emotional picks. You know, sometimes we have those hometown teams or your alma maters and, and you really want them to go far so you pick them to go far but that's not always the best pick so try to make informed decisions that said I had a girlfriend in college that always picked uh, her bracket based on mascots and it actually worked out pretty well for her so what do I know <laughs> well hey you gave me a lot I know a lot all right good. To you. okay so everything we, we got I got a little information 
I got the foods I want to serve. So where do we go online to get these menu items so I can put my menu together? Yeah, you absolutely. You got to plan it out, um, get it get it all ordered. You can go to KFC.com, or I love just downloading the, the mobile app. You have the entire menu at your fingertips, and you can get it delivered, or you can pick it up super easy so you don't have to miss a single second of the game. And we don't want to miss you also because you're the girl with the most. Is What's going on with you and the Food Network? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I am hosting their brand new podcast, their only podcast. It's called Food Network Obsessed. We get to interview Food Network stars each week, uh, new episodes on Friday, wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I get to do a little bit longer form interviews with some of these Food Network stars, get a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, which has been a lot of fun. I think you're such a great addition to the Food Network. I'm a fan of the Food oh, Network. Oh, thank you. I, I'm going to be a fan because you're there also, too. Jamie, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and giving me and people like me some information about March Madness. We're ready now. All right, we are ready to go. Good luck with your brackets and, more importantly, with your, your menu. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.